Mills Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Mills Fleet Farm is your fishing headquarters. It's a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy, holy, holy. Oh, my gosh. Look at the size of that one, Danny. Look at the size of that fish. Yes, folks, a beautiful day up here on Lake Superior. We're in Bayfield, Wisconsin with Captain Josh Tigan. And Josh, I really enjoyed it coming up here, buddy, because uh, what we're doing is fishing for a grab bag of trout, right? Yeah, we are. Never know what you're gonna get. So you got browns, lake trout, what else? Splake, uh, there's whitefish around too. You can get a salmon, you never know. Now what depths do you target this time of year? Generally I target anywhere from 10 out to about 40 feet. And then if it's slow and shallow, we can always go deeper and target whitefish and lakers out in that 70 to 82. Okay, spoons, vibratos, rattle masters, yep. all those types of baits work. And uh, we got a nice crew with us today too, right? Yeah, we got a big crew, I a like it. Actually we have some University of Wisconsin football players here today. Yep, they're gonna catch some fish. I hope so. Hey folks, the show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. Dogs are like family and deserve the best. So give them Sprout Bites and Bones adult dog food from Mills Flea Farm. On sale, $15.99. Stoke the fire with premium hardwood fuel pellets. 40 pounds, only $3.99. Now's the perfect time to replace those old wiper blades. Get new Michelin Cyclone blades for just $9.95. And beat the cold. This big buddy heater is on sale. Only $109.99 at Mills Fleet Farm. Security meets mobility. Introducing the Ascent Float Suit by Clam Outdoors. Finally, a float suit that provides the security of flotation with the benefit of flexibility. Our exclusive motion float technology utilizes a segmented system that gives anglers unrestricted movement on the ice. And the Ascent Float Suit offers the same maximum breathability and warmth that you expect from Ice Armor by Clam. Security. Mobility. Ascent. Pursue the ice. From the makers of the best-selling Yamaha Grizzly and Kodiak 700 comes the all-new Kodiak 450, the world's only mid-size ATV with Yamaha-proven off-road capability, all-day comfort, and confidence-inspired performance. The all-new Kodiak 450, starting at just $59.99. At Jiffy, we break new ground. In fact, every decision we make revolves around it. The new Jiffy 46 Extreme is 49 cc's of unmatched power with a fixed position propane system and over twice the efficiency for low end torque. Or go ninja with the Jiffy 44 Pro, the lightest in its class, the best in power and portability inside and outside. The only ice augers built in the USA. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned at the top of the program, fishing Lake Superior in Bayfield, Wisconsin. And I'm really kind of proud today. I got University of Wisconsin tradition. I'm going to start with you, Scott. You played at Wisconsin in what years? 83 to 88. And you were a nose tackle? Nose tackle, defensive tackle. Okay, and you got to introduce your sons. All right. All right, who we have here? We have a tight end. We got a tight end. <laughs> and his name Red is? Richard, uh, freshman tight end, Luke. Luke, you're, and you're going to start next year? We'll see what happens. Okay, and you got, you got a touchdown dance, right? Yeah. How does that go? <laughs> Little John. Okay, that, I like that too. <laughs> and we got Bo here, and, and Bo, you're the starting guard for the University yep, of Wisconsin. Yep, right guard. That's quite a tradition, the offensive line in Wisconsin, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we take it personally and, and try to replicate what other guys have done. Have you ever recovered a fumble or anything like that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You touched the football. Yeah, yeah. Not, I mean, it wasn't given to me, but yeah. All right, well, sure. big, big day today. You got to get some trout. And of Definitely. course, we can't forget JP. Yeah, this is our and, youngest. And, and, and he goes to Grafton High School. Grafton and High School. He's, he's a, a freshman? Yep, freshman, 15 year old. And he played varsity football. Varsity football and varsity basketball <laughs> for one game. Yeah. Oh, really? That's cool. All right, guys, your assignment today is catch trout. Go to it. All right. <laughs> What's going on here, Josh? Josh what happened, I'm Josh? Here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what happened here, Pete? Why are you handlining a fish? Well, I left my rod unattended. Yeah. And then it was gone. 
Seriously, the uh, fish pulled a rod in the water? How'd There's... you get it back? Well, I used another rod. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, it's nice, a nice bro. Look nice at bro. the size of this thing. There we go. That is a beauty. <laughs> now, come on up here, Josh. All right. Okay, so <laughs> you left a rod in the water. You walked away. Yeah, I went to get Blake a rod to fish with, and I came back, and my rod was gone. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out why, and I had left it suspended about 10 feet off the bottom. Right. And this fish took it, and then I snagged it with another rod. And, and then you hand, li the hand lined your brother. Yeah, it's like tip-up fishing. That is that <laughs> right there. I've never done yeah. that before. The, that is weird, but that is a gorgeous brown. And I know you come up here and fish. You guys like to eat these too, don't you? Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. And, and, the, and, and we have a new pattern, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's don't called move. dead sticky. <laughs> dead sticky baits. <laughs> no, that's hysterical. Lure. Sweet's got a big one on. Oh, he does. Yep. Hey, hey, Pete. <laughs> hey, Pete just hand lined a brown drawn in there, buddy. Oh, this one come right up on the screen. Ooh. Ooh, oh, no. Oh. Hey, here we go, Josh. All right. We got one try. Oh, a white fish. Whitey. Look at that, man. There you go. <laughs> you know, Josh and I were talking at the top of the program. Hope bring them up here, Josh, so you can see them. Yeah. Uh, and it's kind of a grab bag out here. Do you, have you ever eaten of these? Yeah, caught them on uh, Sturgeon Bay. You smoke them or? Uh, you know, we flayed some, we smoked some. Pretty, Pretty good. good either way. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's cool. Now the white fish will be right with the trout. Josh. Yeah, they'll be right with the trout. They'll be mixed right in, even in the shallow water. You know. You know, yeah, I'm marking three a four on there. Wasn't oh it? yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I was marking actually smelt on my locator. Oh really? You know, you know, up and down. Then that's what these fish are chasing. That was too, on right? the sidewinder too. Nice. Well done. Thanks. Got one. Got one. Hey, here we go. The blaster, <laughs> fresh off catching walleyes on Lake Erie. Woo! Now you're trying. Oh, there he is. Look at how clear that water yeah. is. Oh, look at that, Josh Aru. Oh, nice. Now, now, Blake, last week you caught walleyes on Lake Erie. This is your first time trout fishing through the ice. Is it? A, it's a little different type of bite. Yeah, it was more of an aggressive bite. It yeah. hit, and it's a, you know. Did you mark them on the screen? Yeah, I was. I marked a few big ones earlier. Didn't get them, and then this one really, you know, aggressively bit the. Yeah, that's cool. And what were you using? Oh, the Rattlin' Rattle Master. Master. Yeah, nice. that's your favorite bait. But actually, Josh, there is a size limit. Yes, yeah, so you can keep, uh, they got to be over 15 inches. You can keep five trout total. Yeah. So, yep. And that is a perfect pan for That's me. the one you want for the pan. Seriously? Yeah. 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 That'll be delicious. Good job, Blake. Pretty. Way to yeah. go. <laughs> oh, the shot. All right, here we go. I'm sitting right outside your tent. They're nice and cozy in there, huh, Luke? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, buddy. Blake just got a, uh, about a 16-inch brown. Let's see what this is going to be. Boy, this is nice and warm in here, guys. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no complaints. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey. Oh, 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 oh another no. whitey fish there. <laughs> Come on, guys. There we go. Now, Woo. turn around, boy. You going to hold this up for him? Yeah. No, nice. Is that the first fish in this tent today? Yeah, we yeah. just broke the ice. Have you guys been yeah. seeing anything? Yeah, we've been yeah, marking, marking a lot. Rocks. Have uh, you? We've been chasing them up high, but first now, one we were able to connect on. Two brothers on the same football team that's pretty cool do you guys stay buddies too oh, of course yeah. yeah yeah we're hanging out all the time together so what's wisconsin going to be like next year bo um i don't know you got the whole uh, yeah, offense, got, got offensive line got a lot of guys line. returning oh, well, geez. got a lot of guys returning so uh could be a really good season well, next year for sure. and you're going to have a great tight end yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> yep. nice job there hey hey no, rusty here, rusty rudy <laughs> all right pal Ooh, that's a light rod you got yeah. this year. He's really, he's really humping here, John. I had to work him up. Oh, that's a nice fish. I just saw him. Yeah. I just saw him go by. Yep. Oh, that's ooh, a real ooh, nice ooh. fish. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, it's a big, oh, it's a big, big white lady. fish. Yeah. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, yeah. I saw him flash before. It's a big white fish, Swede. Okay. There oh, we go. Oh, oh. Hey, bring him up here, Josh. There's that's a actually lady. a real nice one. Now, I got to say, Rusty is a connoisseur of making fish, and you love these. I don't? love white fish, John. They're some of the best come out of the smokehouse. And, oh, do you smoke them? I smoke them, and sometimes we just stake them like this, scale them, then you stake them and throw them in a pot of boiling water, a little salt, a couple bay leaves, and it's excellent that way, too. I got to take you over to Door County in a couple weeks so you can get 10 of those a day. You know? I would love to do hey, that. Hey, stand up. I got to show the folks, you know, Ice Armor by Clam really does a beautiful job making suits for big guys, right? Well, I'll tell you what, John, I'm 357 pounds, and when I walk through Fleet Farm, I see a lot of people that are every bit as big as me, and 
clam came out and made a suit that works for all of them. Ice hammer by clam. What size is this? This is a 5XL. It's a little bit big on me, but yeah. it's nice. You can put a little extra clothing if you need to. Yeah, and I'll tell you, clam, Ice Hammer by Clam is one of the few companies that do make a suit for big very, guys. Very few people ever make over a 3X. Yeah. And clam does a 4X and a 5X. You know what I should do is put some weight on so I can get one. There you go. <laughs> I'll tell you what, folks, there is nothing better than Johnsonville's when you're ice fishing. Oh, and uh, you're our Minnesota cook, and you do these for us every time you're with us. And today you have Johnsonville Mild Italians. The Mild Italians, John, and with all my Swedish blood, it's not too spicy for me but it's oh. just a nice little kick and how do you cook them i just put them on the grill and you just want to do a, keep a low heat right and just roll them real slow so you don't want to pierce the skin or you know the the casing because you want to keep all that flavor and juice inside and just take your time until they get nice and golden brown a couple of like, nice grill marks on them and they're ready okay well we got some uh, football players here that are going to do our taste, <laughs> taste test, test. <laughs> As, uh, you guys eat a lot of johnsonville's in madison we do we do, do you yep all right you it's all that stadium <laughs> all right here you go all right <laughs> Johnsonville Italians, what do you think, guys? Perfect. Delicious. Is Good. that on your menu at the training table? No, I wish it was, but okay. it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Gillespie Fishing and Instagram at JGWWTV for all our behind the scenes photos, videos, and giveaways. This week we're giving away a bucket of clam gear worth over $250. This bucket contains rods, clothing, and much more. To enter is simple. Just go to facebook.com slash Gillespie Fishing and like and share this photo. We were fishing Lake Superior out of Ashland, Wisconsin. A five and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, six and a half hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyper Glide and Hyper Rattle series, to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all new professional Gray Tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit AcmeTackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. I wasn't happy with the layout, the setup, the performance of the other boats that were out there. Each boat has its own little good thing and its own little bad thing. I tried to meld all of that together to make a boat that was as good as can be to satisfy everyone. And we feel that Recon's better than other boats for performance, whole shot. Every boat is a custom order built specifically for the customer. Recon is priced typically much lower than the competitors and still keep the quality there and the performance there. I like to see the finished product, see it leave on a trailer ready for the water. The overall satisfaction of, of building a vehicle, building something people can enjoy, get out and fish in. Okay, nice PJ's battling a fish here. Have you seen him yet, Josh? No, we haven't. Okay. Oh, there's the sinker. There's the sinker. Oh, it's a nice. Oh, oh big, big, big fish. Big road, big this road. is a big fish, Be folks. This is a real big hole. fish. If he wants don't to horse him. Don't horse him. Yep, yep, yep. What pound leader you got? Only eight pound. Yep. Only so eight be pound. Real easy. Big bro. Okay, this is a real big fish, folks. Yep. There you go. Now you keep pulling again. Yep. Keep pulling. Big. Bro. Oh, that is a gorgeous fish, yeah, man. It's a big one. <laughs> Look at that. All right, keep lifting. Keep lifting. Oh yes, Josh. Josh, nicely done. Hey, hey, buddy. Good Isn't job. It, uh, don't Here, those things old. battle yeah. you, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice fish. That, awesome. That is a oh gorgeous God, trout. Yeah. That this really is, is. huge. Yeah, that's a dandy. What's that one weigh about? That's probably a, I don't know, six maybe? Six, seven? That's a nice brown trout. <laughs> was that fun? That was the best. Isn't that <laughs> cool? Awesome. Yeah, that's a beautiful yeah. fish. And when you're setting these tip-ups, Josh, are you, do you set the minnow right on the bottom? Usually I set it up six or seven feet <clears> off the bottom so they can see it from farther away. They like that flash, especially when it's sunny out like this, they can see it from ways yeah. away. Yeah, hold that out. I mean, that really, that's a beautiful fish right there. What are you going to do with awesome. that? Awesome. Power gonna eat it probably. Oh yeah, they're delicious yeah, out of Lake yeah, Superior. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, that is gorgeous. Yeah, keep him away from Rusty because he steals fish, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's a beauty. No, you were excited there, man. Yeah, Way to go. That's awesome. It's a dandy. Hey, here we go. I'll tell you what, that JP's fast, isn't he, man? He gets out of that clam tent in a hurry to get the tip ups. Definitely. Is this another big one? Yeah, uh, 
Well, let's see. see that much. Oh, it's oh, a nice splake. It's a oh, it's a splake. Yeah, nice splake. And there he is. Yeah. There we now go. that's uh, nice. so folks at home know what is a splake, Josh? It's a cross between a lake trout and a brook trout. And are they good to eat too? Oh, they're really good to eat. They're just like a salmon. And this is actually, folks, it's oh. not a real big fish, but for a splake, that's pretty good size. That's a good size one. You know, they don't get any bigger than 23, 24 around here. That's that's probably you know 18, 19. That's a pretty How good one. How are you getting to the tip up so fast? <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong, sprinting right yeah. away. Well, yeah, you see others, but they're, yeah. you know, they don't run to the tip no, ups. No. You're in the quarter quarter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, man. Nice. Oh, see him, see yeah. him. <laughs> there he is. That's so much fun, isn't it, when they come off the bottom like yeah, that? Is. I just caught, oh, that's a splake. There's a splake. Hey, hey, hey. That's a nice, nice splake, too. I actually just caught a white fish, and uh, I was going back down because there were more marks down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good and, idea. Uh, that thing just came up and, and hit it. And that, folks, is that Rattlin nice. Castmaster, Pete. And we that worked really well on Lake Erie last week. But that rattle, oh, yeah. you know, you and I have gotten into the sound deal yep. lately. Yeah, sometimes that sound can really make a difference, Sean. And I'll tell you what, if you don't mind, I'll eat that for you. You can. <laughs> uh, no, absolutely. I know. I actually want to give tasty. that to Tex, your dad. Oh, uh, Tex will appreciate Tex that. did not want to come today. He had other things to do. Yeah, so, he was busy. Uh, so he'll enjoy that split. He will. He's How do very you cook happy those? for you. Do you grill those? I like to grill them. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, throw them right on the grill. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil, garlic, and some of that lemon pepper. Ooh, now that's mm. a and that's a good size flake, folks. That's I, yeah. Up here on Lake Superior, they don't seem to get real big in this area of Lake no, Superior. No, no, they don't. But they're tasty. You know, about a 22, 23 is a real big one. But that's a great eater there. Yeah. What's that? About 17? Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Nice fish. You know, when it's blowing 25 miles an hour and it's like eight degrees out, it it is certainly nice to think about fishing in a boat again, which we'll be doing in a couple of months. But some neat news though, Pete, you know, you and I each run the Recon 2185. Tremendous boat, got a big old 300 Evan Root on the back of that thing and it's really well equipped. Now, we're gonna be selling those boats or Recon is gonna be selling the boats that you and I run at the end of the year, correct? Yeah, that's right. The boats from last year, as I understand, those are sold, but the 2018 boats, which are fully rigged, John, as you well know. There's three helixes on there. You got the Talon, you got the Mincote Altera on the front. So these boats are rigged out, ready to go. And the neat thing is if they go to reconboats.com and they're interested in the 2018 boats, they could probably pick their own color, you know, go right. there on the website and check out the colors. The pricing is great. It's a tremendous boat. You and I know that. They're fully rigged, like we mentioned. And they're great boats at the end of the year. You can, And they'll be excited to have John Gillespie's boat. No, they'll be excited to have oh. Pete Maynard's boat. <laughs> but seriously, folks, if you're interested, a great deal. These are great boats. Go to reconboats.com. That's again, reconboats.com. Glenn Groom here from Amsoil, and we're talking about trailer maintenance today. Now, if you take a look at your trailer, it's always out in the adverse conditions, especially if you're out ice fishing or you're, you're towing your UTV or you're towing any of your equipment on the roads in the wintertime. Sometimes the salt can get to them, and even though some of these parts are galvanized, they can still rust once that galvanizing wears away. So what you want to do is you want to treat it with Amsoil's heavy-duty metal protector. What it does is it goes on and it coats the material, and then it dries and it sticks and it keeps those parts from rusting. So when you go to hook up your trailer, you're not dealing with rust, it's not stuck, and it's not a pain. For more information on our heavy-duty metal protector, check out amsoil.com. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. 
Well, folks, day two, and we had fun with the trout yesterday, but uh, yeah. the football players, the Badger guys, wanted to try some crappie fishing, and, and Namakagan's been pretty good, huh? Yeah, it has been great. You know, a lot of good spots out here with nice sized fish. And the nice thing about your guide service is that, uh, yeah, you can do the trout one day, but go inland and catch some panties or, or walleyes, right? Exactly. It's more action, you know. You can catch a lot more fish. There he is, Josh. Yep, yep I see him. There he Got him? Is. Yes. All right. That was cool, man. I'll tell you, this is the first uh, hole I fished in, and that fish was, uh, ooh. Ooh, that, nice one. Those are nice, fat crappies right there, folks. And that was only 12 feet under the ice. So we're fishing in what, 24 feet? Well, 24, 25, yep. And those are just nice eaten size crappies. And I want to say a little bit about these clam rods. Yep. These panfish rods are awesome, aren't they? Oh yeah, clam? they are. They are for sure. And they got that nice little spring bobber on there, man. And yep. you can see the bite. But, know when uh, you're getting a bite. Yeah, that's a good way to start, pal. Yeah, not a bad start at all. Got it! Got all it! Right. All right, Blake, way to Woo! go, way to go, way to go. This is fun, Josh. You got us on some fish, buddy. There we go. Yay. That's a nice eater size. Now, you know, last week we were on Lake Erie and you were watching your locator for fish on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Crappies are different, aren't they? Yeah, they're more like halfway up around 15 feet. And I make sure if I see a mark to always have it above the mark. That way the fish can, you know, grab it. Yeah, and it's kind of, you want to make them chase a little bit, huh, Josh? Yeah, you do. You kind of want to play cat and mouse with them. The more you take it away from them, the more aggressive they'll get. Hey, hey, I just got one. You got one on there, Pete. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, buddy. All right, let's see what we got here. Copies are fun, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. like a pretty good one, John. You got a teen, oh, that's Ooh, a nice fish. Nice one. That is a beautiful crappie right there. Seriously, buddy. Hey, my buddy, the little acorn. All right. Well, we're really spread out today, too, folks. And uh, you're hole hopping, huh? I am. Oh, not a, whoa, get him, Josh. Oh. Nicely done, yeah. No, but uh, you know, you know I talk about this every time we pan fish, Acorn. You like to really move from hole to hole. Yeah. I like to find them. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you did a good job there. But uh, it is interesting. You know, if you mark them high, they hit. If you mark them down on the bottom, they don't. Yeah. It's weird. It's always really suspended. Hey, oh, no. tight end Luke. All right. Way, way to go there, Lukester. Let's see how big he is. And there you go. Nice eater crappie. Oh, oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, hold them up. Oh, of course, that's a nice one. you tight ends got giant hands, so the fish will look small, but, but hold them out. And, and Luke, I'll tell you, have you enjoyed the two days, buddy? Oh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It has been fun. And, you know, with the trout fishing was okay yesterday, but I wanted you guys to get a taste of the crappies, you yeah. know? Hold them up in front of your face there. There you go. Nice fish. Maybe this there's... one looks pretty aggressive. All right. Okay. Oh, that's a nice eater right there. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. No. Hey, I want to mention that next Saturday, January the 29th, from 1, I think, or noon to 4, you and I are going to be at the Milwaukee Boat Show at State Fair Park, and we'll be in the Evanrood booth, yep. right? Evanrood booth. We'll be talking about how much we love our G2s. And we'll be talking fishing, too. Yes, we So, will. if folks want to come down and visit Pete and I, it's next Saturday. January the 29th, I think it's noon till 4, Milwaukee Boat Show, State Fair Park. Did you get one? I got hey, one. Woo! There we go, little Acorn Rooney. Blake's been following you around because you're catching crappies, Acorn. Ooh, that's, Ooh, that's, a, that's a nice one. Wow, Look at that one nice. there. You know, this is interesting. Again, folks, we are marking so many fish that won't bite, aren't we? I You're know. Stubborn. You gotta keep going from hole to hole, huh? <laughs> yeah, you do a lot of travel there, Acorn. <laughs> hey, but I want to mention about your guide service. Uh, if folks want to come up and fish with you, Josh, you pr what do you provide? I provide everything for people. Heaters, shacks, you know, I got snowmobiles to get people out, so I got it all. Just bring yourselves. By the way, I want to mention the wonderful house that, uh, what is it? Scott, Who? Scott at River Rock. We stayed at his cabin, which is right on Schwamigan Bay. And that place, well, as you guys know, it's amazing. Well, the River Rock Bay Shop has a great hotel. Yep. And if you have a large group, he also has a beautiful home that he rents out to fishing groups. And a uh, great place to stay. He's got great bait. One of my favorite places in Ashland. Oh, it's great. And it's right on the bay. You can drive out from there to fish if you wanted to. What did you think of the cabin? Oh, I loved it. Very cozy and convenient. There we go, John. Hey, way to go there, Josh Roog. Uh, boy, I'll tell you what. I got to tell. Oh, that's not a bad there one there. Go. 
I got to tell the folks what's going on here. The last hour, I have been marking fish every couple of minutes. I get them to come up, they won't hit. Yeah, it's, it's tough. <laughs> and is that January, Pete? I mean, it really? Is January, yeah. We don't, we got the high skies and everything here, but just in the last hour, it seems like they're getting tough. Everybody here is having the same thing. There's actually a lot of fish though. Right. But you just can't make them eat. I've tried all different types of plastics and they'll come up a little bit, but. It's tough. I'm Blake Gillespie here for Mills Flea Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Each week on Blake Go Shopping, we'll feature one of our products that will help you catch more fish. Keep warm and cozy with this Mills Fleet Farm exclusive Fat Fish 767i from Eskimo. This two to three person insulated hub styled shelter has 40 square feet of fishable area. The Eskimo 767i has two doors for easy exits and five removable windows. Higher thread count gives outstanding watertight and wind performance. The Eskimo 767i is easy to set up and portable enough for easy carry. And don't forget, the Brainerd JC's Ice Fishing Extravaganza is coming up on January 27th. Get your tickets now at any Mills Fleet Farm store. Josh Tigan guides Guamagon Bay on a year-round basis. For more information, give Josh a call. That phone number is 715-813-0575. 813-0575. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. If you fish, chances are you've used a must-add hook. That's all we use. Come on, get him in there. Army tank, Daredale. Oh, there is a big boy. I mean, I just can't believe this, folks. Oh, let's see him, yeah. buddy. Look at that. <laughs> that 10 yeah. seconds, though, makes a big difference, buddy. Well, that one is a gorgeous fish. Is that pushing three? That's three. We're going to weigh it. Must have the world's largest manufacturer of fishing hooks. Get the point? We did. Well, guys and gals, it wasn't our best fishing trip. It was kind of tough the last two days, but uh, again, we said it during the program, it's going to get better and better, and the trout thing is going to get really good. Yep, we're going to be able to get to a lot of good places here soon. Well, we got great ice, and uh, hey, don't we all look nice in our clam outfits? I, you and I both have the ascent suit, so if we went through the yep. ice, yep. we would float, we would. right? Would. And you have the... I'm more extreme which is quite handy when the wind's blowing like this and it's cold. <laughs> yeah, that's I don't float, John, and what, but what I do, do have, have the there, extreme Blake? suit. I have the woman's extreme as well. The woman's extreme. And yes, people say you do look cute in that too, by the way. Well, thank you. It keeps me warm for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's true. All right. That is our show for today, folks. Please join us next week. I don't know. We're going to fish it. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, hey, y'all, are they guys? Hey, John Gillespie! Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Hey, 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 John Gillespie! He's a fishing man, fishing any time he can, yeah!